All right, guys, so I was driving, driving, and all of a sudden I saw, well, this is a US flag, and then right there I actually saw some really cool cars, so we're gonna go check it out. This is pretty crazy, guys. I saw a really cool, amazing car. Gosh. So amazing. What? This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is pretty insane. I can't believe it. I can't believe what I found. It's a W126 on these BBS wheels. God, this thing is so damn gorgeous. And this BMW, oh my goodness, I think it's i8. This is crazy, guys. They both look so good together. Guys, this is pretty insane. I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. This is so nice. Literally, I was literally just driving and then I glanced just a little bit to the right side and I saw these cars here and I'm like I gotta stop this is so crazy it's got euro headlights and everything look at this amazing machine and yes it's slammed but the wheels look really good on this thing it's pretty crazy and it's got like three big or two big spacers on it too and it's a 560 SEL this is some crazy stuff, guys. I cannot believe this. This car looks so damn sexy. Gosh. Black interior, too. This is so nice. Mileage. It's hard to... It's 79,000 miles or kilometers. This is so cool. And this is like some kind of automotive shop, I believe. So they're working on it, I guess. This is pretty insane. What a beauty. This is pretty insane, guys. Pretty damn insane. These two beautiful machines. And I literally, I was just like, this is just some kind of like Japanese village. There's nothing like too crazy here, you know, but there's this is literally like a, an automotive shop. And I don't know why it says California Auto Garage uh, Garage here. Like maybe they're just, maybe there's someone from United States here. But like I said, guys, this is just some random Japanese village somewhere, you know, like in Japan. So it's like, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool seeing that. And then I'm seeing like right there, there's like, it says Mac tools. So either this person is from United States or maybe it's a Japanese owner who owns the shop and he just, you know, he loves and knows what's going on in the United States and what kind of things we have there. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, either way, I really love these two cars. Of course, this one's my most favorite one. Uh, that one, I mainly love that one just because of the wheels. That's all. <laughs> There's nothing else that really, like, really interests me that, you know, that much in this car. But they do look really good together, honestly saying. You know, just because of the contrast and, uh, you know, this is a classic car. This is a modern car. And uh, yeah, this is just so cool. Like, just look at this grill, guys. Look at this. Oh my goodness. This is all original stuff. Yes. Yes. Bosch. Bosch. Original Bosch. Everything. This is so damn hot. Euro bumpers, obviously. So yeah, this is this is so cool. Spider web right there. Hello, spider. Yeah. So actually, look. Look at this thing. It says airlift performance so i'm pretty sure this car has an airlift kit so that's pretty cool it's really really cool yep a beautiful machine 560 seo guys i i i don't know i i gotta buy something from japan import it i gotta do it i will do it one day for sure one of these cars i'll buy them and uh bring it to the united states or pay someone to bring it for me this is insane guys these are these are just some amazing legendary cars we gotta love them and cherish them for the rest of our lives this this is what i will be driving this is my passion it's classic german or cl just classic euro cars because i also you know i want to include the volvo in it because i love classic volvos too uh, shout out to my friend dylan dylan volvos i love them so much man 
240 the volvo 240 oh my gosh i hope you get one soon bro we gotta we gotta you know do some car cruising together you know so other than that guys super amazing amazing day i'm just enjoying these amazing cars and everything today and uh this this is what fills me up and my heart and everything guys so beautiful yeah so it's pretty pretty cool guys i mean i would love to put an airlift kit on one of my w126s it would be really really cool you know you can just drive around like you know with the regular suspension you know lift it up and then as soon as you park your car somewhere you know you can just drop you know all the air or drop drop your car just you know like release all the air from the from your um uh air springs or uh air shocks so and then after that um you know this car is gonna literally sit all the way on its belly pretty much almost um but this is really really cool uh, what i really like is for, i also wanted just to tell you a little bit what i love about the wheels uh the wheels i do love these bbs wheels they look really really good on these w126s i can i'm not gonna lie i love them they're actually 18 inch uh bbs wheels and the tire size as far as i remember was uh, two 35 something like that we'll go on the other side and we'll double check uh as I, I i was able to see it on the other side but um those are 18 inch they're stretched a little bit but it makes it look really really good guys so um i do love these bbs wheels these are like probably one of the only aftermarket wheels that are really approved on classic mercedes um you know and obviously central wheels are really awesome too and penta wheels on these classic mercedes but these bbs wheels i also really love um however you know my favorite ones are probably going to be monoblocks for this car just amg monoblocks but like i said guys i really approve these wheels they're really awesome they're nice they look really really good on this machine so i'm going to take a couple selfies with this car and then i'm going to get going thank you baby you made my day today i hope to see you again soon so looking at these tires it's 225 35 18 so that's what this car has pretty damn cool bye babes see you soon i'm gonna miss you a lot